Bob Ivanov, he's going to come up and talk about Father, uh, Father Capon pilgrimage that we're putting together as an organization, as Catholic Brothers for Christ. And we're going to put this, this is going to happen, he'll give you all the details, but think about this. I've done the pilgrimage three times now. I've done twice with Good Shepherd and I did the 60 mile walk. And there, it's unbelievable uh, what you get, the benefit and blessings you get from that pilgrimage. We're going to, we've scheduled a trip up to uh, Kansas to visit uh, various Pilsen sites in early May. The trip will start, next slide, the trip will start uh, with a visit to his home parish where he was baptized and confirmed and served as pastor there. It's a beautiful country church in the city of Pilsen, which is a town of less than 100 people in uh, about an hour and a half northeast of Wichita. We will then visit the Father Capon Museum. Next slide, please. Um, in that museum, some of the highlights are you'll see the Wall of Miracles that show the three miracles of the trip of Father Capon. Also, the, the uh, <coughs> scale model of the prison he was in. Once we finished there, we <coughs> served a beautiful country lunch by the Aller Society, and then we moved on to next slide to, uh, to the Capon Mount Carmel High School in Wichita. Next slide. And then we'll visit the Capon Room, and you see here we're pointing to that, that uh, crucifix that they talked about in the video, and we'll spend time there, and then at 5 o'clock, next slide, we will att go attend Mass at the Cathedral there in Wichita. Next slide, and we'll, we'll pray at the crypt where his remains are buried, which is a whole story in itself, um, and next slide, please. There's, there, are, there are in your in your uh, in the uh, brochure that you got. There's the the dates of the uh, there's of the of the various functions, and there's also the um, the uh, website to go to learn about the, uh, the 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 discovery of his remains. All along for the last many years, they thought his remains were an unmarked grave in, in Grib. And then they were digging some unmarked graves in, in Honolulu, and they found remains, and they did a DNA test and found that they were his remains. They were bought back in the United States. There was a funeral held in Wichita for him, and now he's interred in this beautiful crypt there in the, in the, uh, in the cathedral, and we'll visit that. Next slide, please. There are two more visits to... Back up. There, thank you. There are two more visits. First of all, there's a video that talks about his, his remains, and the second one is a 60-mile walk that Rick referred to. Every year they have a walk from Wichita to Pilsen. This year is next year is in June 1st and 4th. We had six people who got Shepherd do that a couple years ago and it was a very moving experience. So there's a lot of opportunity there. So uh, I want to thank you and look forward to seeing you in May. And next slide, please. Let's say it together. Father Capon, pray for us. Father Capon, pray for us. Thank you. Our group is not doing a 60 mile hike, just so you know, okay? We're going up in cars, but it's going to be great, so I hope you please prayerfully consider it.